Hey, good afternoon from South Padre Island, Sandcastle capital of the world. This is Andy Hancock, welcome to another Sandcastle snippet. Now here's the, the, the little beastie we built before, showing you all the details and the holes and everything else. But everybody always says, what happens when you want to join it to a new one? How can I make a bridge, Andy? Well, we've got two barrels, we stack our castles on barrels because we're too lazy to bend over. And um, we're going to build a bridge between that. So what we need is a five gallon bucket, which I just happen to have. And it's already been pre-coated in WD-40. Why do we put WD-40 on our buckets, I hear you ask? Well, it stops the sand and water sticking to them. So let's put that in there. There's some wet sand, no sloppy wet in a bucket. And I'm going to see you in a minute after I finish putting it up. So welcome back. Here we go. One bucket. We just pile the sand up against the existing castle. Over the top, nice and thick. Smeared it all in. You see how we've smeared the edges and cleaned it up a bit? got that water to drain in the direction we want it to and now what we're going to do is take a spatula from our incredibly tidy toolbox okay and cut this away and then we can pull our bucket out so all you do is you put it in there and you cut away the bottom of the the sand away from there just to make sure we're loosening it up properly before we take this bucket out all right just take a bit of a v-cut all the way around come around the other side do the same thing all right make sure there's nothing underneath the bucket to hold it there get it away from the side nice thin line around there like that don't push on anything you just cut in that v-shape out Okay, to release the pressure on that bucket which has already got WD-40 around it and everybody says to me well not everybody but a lot of people say WD-40 not very good for the beach Andy well WD-40 is actually inherently fish oil it's made from fish oil um, so it's fairly organic there's no doubt it's got some chemical content but um, I consider it a lot safer than waterproof sunblock, that's for sure. Although we all need to put our sunblock on, that stuff is just nasty. If it's waterproof, how's it going to break down? Uh, that's one thing I want answered. But anyway, so a bit of WD-40 on the beach won't hurt anybody. Um, compared to the mayo and all the other stuff we leave out. We try and keep our beaches nice and clean here, but yeah, good luck with that. Anyway, here we go. You just go all the way through, get that released. Okay, and then you give it a tiny, tiny, tiny turn, like that, there you go, give it a tiny turn, and you just pull your bucket out like that, dispense with the bucket, and then, first thing is, let's get some weight off the middle of that bridge, because what holds a bridge up, it's the sides, not the middle, so, if you make the middle lighter, the sides have got a better chance of standing up. Okay, we won't make it too, don't go too crazy, but nip around the other way, just take some weight off the sides, and it just helps the middle to stand up then. Leaves us with plenty to carve, and gives us a fabulous bridge between the two, which you can then square off at the base because you should have nice dry, uh, nice wet sand. And there you go, that's how you make a bridge between two ends. Enjoy, see you next time, Sandcastle Snippets.